Hello, and welcome to... Toasted Hoagies Patreon! For all viewers who love Toasted Hoagies content and wish to help support Hoagie, now is your chance. In return for your support, we offer up to four donations le donation levels. The $1 tip tier, the $5 early access tier, the $10 request tier, and the $30 donation tier. The $10 tier also comes with early access, and while the $30 donation tier is a donation-oriented tier, it too gains all the benefits of the $5 and $10 tier. Hoagie, quit shilling your Patreon. Don't I pay you enough? You don't pay me at all! Shut up, Steve! Now back to the Patreon talk. With your help, Hoagie can continue to provide entertaining videos and streams for a long time to come. Isn't that great? You bet it is. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Catch you later. Everybody's really hurt. The group is driving down a long stretch of road. No threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest is either. You have zero food left. Unexpectedly, the groups find someone they can trade with. Visit trader camp. We are hungry. Group meets a woman who's covered in hammers. They hang from the, the several tool belts and bandoliers. Can I tell you a secret? I love blunt weapons. I'll sell you my spares cheap. You have zero food left. This isn't enough food to buy anything. As consolation, the, the trader gives you a wooden log. Nature's blunt weapon. <laughs> this trader is waving a sturdy military flashlight around. It's an old business trick to draw in customers. It pays to be prepared, and we have zero food. We're out of food. The trader gives the group a free flashlight. Uh, we're getting stuff out of pity. This person is asleep. How can they sleep so soundly in the middle of a zompocalypse? Right on the ground, no less. She must have it all figured out. That's a she. The group sees a man standing near an SUV. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. He offers to give you two cans of food for every 25 units of gas. No, I need my gas. Pax is tired of being stuck in this camp. He'll join you for a small fee. Well, I don't want Paxton anyway. Come on, Lubbixes, let's go. We're all going to starve to death. While driving out of the death row, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Lost Stronghold or Apartment Row. The group drives through to see a few apartment buildings stand out. You are it's being slightly less ruined than the surroundings. Mild, irritated, late morning. Wait a goddamn sec. Did... What's his name? Take the other... No. Man, 
Food is apparently very scarce in this world. and they went quack quack. Good. More ammo. But the most important thing we need is food. I'm just waiting for this car to break down. <laughs> a group gets confused by the route becoming a maze of blocked roads. They arrive at a dead end. Their choices are now between a detour or a longer detour that may lead to <coughs> loop. They can also ditch the car to continue on foot. I'll take the longer detour. Well, 
While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. A uh, riled up house, a big grocery store. The group spots a big grocery store. Many zombies roam inside. Uh, the guarding shelves and storage rooms. Okay, first off, Shrubby, give me back my axe. Munchies. Food. them around. Yes, come this way. Don't I look tasty? We got food! Where are the exploding zombies and the tongue ones? Ha! The car is completely run out of gas. Coast is stop. Car abandoned. While walking on a dirt road, Steve thought that he spotted a car in the distance. It was only when he got close to it he realized it was a giant rock. What a shame. Ugh. 
After an entire day of walking, the group finds a safe camping spot. The group is very hungry. They need an extra large me or an extra meal. Yeah. Well, at least I have the food. Steve rolls up his sleeves and starts tending to their wounds. Steve tries to help, but lacks medical supplies. Yeah. Ah! Hoagie is walking on the road when he is suddenly mauled by a feral cat. Feral cats coat the United States after the apocalypse. You never see them, but they're always watching, waiting for any weaknesses. I got attacked by a cat. That's bullshit. Cats love me. While walking along the road, Hoagie spots a gas station in the distance. Not a lot is in there other than the cool looking muscle car next to the gas pump. It has a key sitting on the dash. Muscle cars like this have slightly worse gas mileage than average and break down fast. They're easy to repair very fast. Take it off. Take it off a sweet jump. <laughs> Car! Group sets up camp late on the nearby highway. Is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but should have a little bit of gas. Would you like to send someone out to siphon out the gas? Eh, Steve, you do it. Steve siphons the gas, but accidentally swallows a bit, gets really, really sick that night instead of sleeping. The group tries to rest in the house, but is ambushed by a giant spider. Well, maybe it's a normal spider, but it's gross looking. The spider is rapidly draining the group's morale. Uh. Stupid bug, you go squish now. <sighs> Hoagie smushes the spider. There's a particularly gross crunching noise. Uh, the group searches the house and finds some food. Uh, 